YouTube family, what they do? What's popping? I appreciate y'all for the support. I see I just hit 23k subscribers. I really appreciate y'all for that support. I see y'all messed with the last video. Uh, when I was speaking on the Kwame situation, how the guy was bashing him for the uh, for the shoe drive, which I don't understand. I don't understand that. I don't have no personal problems against nobody, none of the YouTubers, and even the guy I spoke on, I don't have no problems with him. I just feel like that was unfair how he was, you know, going about the situation. You just still sit up here. It's, it's like, you almost, like, it, it, it's almost like, you know, like, when somebody got something against somebody, no matter what they do, they always wrong, and I just felt like the guy, he was kind of moving like that, like, okay, first y'all was saying that Kwame wasn't going to do the shoe drive, or he was just lying, and you know, like, people, they, they, they go off of the pictures and the videos, you got to have a picture or a video to have the proof, and when you don't show a picture or a video, like, you can have all this stuff right here beside you, he could have had a thousand pairs of shoes beside him, but he wasn't putting it on video, they going to swell up and down your line. But when he go about doing the situation, all oh, now is, well, you ain't got 6,000 pairs of shoes, or, man, these shoes ain't name brand, or, man, wasn't nobody there, it wasn't no lines or whatever, or, woo, woo, woo. I just felt like, come on now. Like, you don't even know what's going on. Like, you ain't even just really just sit back and just analyze everything and just sit back. Let me see what, okay, so, wait, okay, they go to food. Okay, they go to kids right there. I mean, you know, like, you ain't even seen. I mean, maybe it's not going to be a big crowd, though. What does it matter? He can give away a hundred pairs of shoes and still sit on the on the rest of them and just, just give them out through the year or whatever. Just keep on just doing drives. Keep on doing it best. Who knows? I mean, what does it matter, though? I mean, I just felt like I had to speak on that because I felt like the situation was unfair. I hate to see, like, with people ganging up on people, you know what I'm saying, things like that. I hate to see that type of stuff. I don't like that. I was the type of person when I was growing up, and, and, and the bully he's currently picking on this kid here. I was the guy, you know. I want the, hey, you know what? You bring your ass. I'm gonna whoop your ass. I was that type of guy. So I just feel like, you know, like all these people just ganging up on Kwame. He still did what he said he was gonna do. What does it matter? It's like, damn, I can't do nothing. It's like nothing is good enough. It's almost like dealing with a female. You know, how you deal with a toxic female. And you know what I'm saying? It's like, ain't nothing you do good enough for. That's how I be feeling like when they come down to Kwame Brown and his situations and things like that. Like, damn, dude. Like, he still did what he said he was going to do. What's the what's the big deal? Now nah, it ain't this. Now nah, like that. First, it was the fact that he wasn't uploading pictures and showing y'all that he was getting ready for the shoe drive. Now that he done did the shoe drive, as he, and he uploading videos, shining on y'all lands, basically. He's shining on y'all, lad. He uploading the video of this shit. He's showing, goddamn it, that he got pause and all that. At this point, man, you lost. Just, just leave it alone. Just okay. I'm gonna shut the fuck up. Like, like if I was going to him, like he do that, I just okay. Well, let me talk about what's going on with Beyonce and Jay Z. Oh, whatever, goddamn. I'm gonna switch to. I'm gonna switch the subject. Okay, let me find another topic to talk about. He just bust my bubble. I ain't gonna get online to say he bust my bubble, but he really bust my bubble. So with that being said, let me just leave him the fuck alone because he he don't want too much. He did what he said he was gonna do. He did that man the fuck alone, goddamn. I mean he did what he said. Like a real if you're real, you go salute the shit. Like damn, I thought he was full of shit he can't do. Okay, fuck it. It is what it is. Leave it alone. I just felt like I had to speak on the man because like he still did the shoe drive. And now you got people trying to dissect. And see if these name brand shoes and see if he got 6,000 pairs of shoes and things like that. Leave that man alone. Leave him alone. Shit. Leave your life. But hey, I appreciate y'all for the support. Y'all stay tuned. Uh, my full podcast is going to be coming within, within the next two weeks to a month. I don't know if it's going to be two weeks or a month. But it's gonna be coming. And, uh, hold on, I gotta blow the horn, y'all. I'm in line, gave me some food, and these people they taking too damn long, and I'm hungry. You better get you out of the way before I ran your shit. Move. But yeah, uh, a full podcast. Uh, I had it up and rolling with well, my co-host. I had it up and rolling uh, within the next month, two weeks to a month. Uh, we said two weeks, but I'm gonna say two weeks to a month because I be doing so much. You know, I'm a uh, I'm a producer, 
music video director. And I think that I'm finna do something and I get booked up for a music video or an event or whatever. But um, y'all just stay tuned, man, because we got a lot of content on the way. And we will be talking about this type of situation because my, co my, my co-host, he also been up on the Kwame Brown situation and things like that. So we're going to be talking about this on the podcast. So y'all make sure y'all stay tuned, man. And I appreciate y'all for the support. One.